This key is magical, or it is as close as it gets to be magical from sub bass and electronic music perspective. Let me explain. This chart shows you the bass range in electronic dance music, but if you take a close look and try to figure out a good sub bass range, this looks different. From 0 to 20 Hz, it is the area that humans cannot hear, we are simply not capable of it. And from 200 Hz to 65 Hz, this area, what I would call, is the bass range rather than sub bass range. It won't move your body and in some cases it may sound even boxy. So this leaves us from 20 to 65 hertz for our sub bass. Now the problem from 20 to 35 hertz is this area is kind of a transition area. Those many systems actually cannot reproduce these frequencies and if they do, it is too deep for many people and they would have rather hard time to really hear it. And from 55 hertz to 65 hertz transition area from bass to sub bass, it may sound weaker than let's say 40 hertz. This means that we have left with 35 to 55 hertz for our sub bass range. Now, if you take a closer look to this chart, we will see that F sharp sits right in the middle. This means that if you write a track in F, for example, you can go up and down quite a bit without worrying about your sub bass sounding weak or it is almost impossible to hear. Hence, you will find many dance music producers telling how much they like writing songs in F for powerful low end. And if you want to have kick samples that you can trust and use by mini pros in dance music, take a look at my Smooth Kick 2 sample pack. They are one of the best, if not the best, Smooth Kick samples out there at the moment.